if you're experiencing problems where your Hanshou Ultra Mini display is showing the headlight either on high or low when your car is set to auto and it doesn't change with the settings, I've got the fix for you here. It's an update from Hanshou. So let's go through the install of this update and then we'll show you some of the things that I ran into while installing this update. A uh, couple things, um, in the description, I will be showing you exactly the steps that are required to put the software on a thumb drive like this one right here. Um, this is just a USB-C adapter, um, but that's what I used. Anyway, uh, you can follow those instructions, but we'll go through it here. So some of the steps that you need to just be aware of that you need a USB drive, like it has to be in a single partition formatted FAT32. It can be USB-C or it can be USB-A with this adapter. Um, you can buy these, they're fairly cheap. You don't need very large, one gig or even smaller. So you might have an old one that you can use in place of it. That's what I'm doing right here. Uh, I had fortunately had one of these USB-C adapters from a Samsung phone that I had previously. So anyway, you're going to take the link that's in the description and download that RAR file, and then you're gonna unrar it or unzip. Um, if you're Windows 10 like mine, it didn't actually know how to do deal with it. So I used an online application and then copied those files over to here. So again, the description, it has everything that you need. Okay, now that the USB drive is installed into the mini screen, to do the update, all you need to do is power off your car and then press the brake pedal. So let's go through that step. So we're gonna go to safety, scroll down to power off and confirm the power off. So now the screen is completely dead. All we need to do is press on the brake pedal. And you'll see that it's gonna boot into the firmware update. And all we need to do is just wait for that. So there you go, it's now booted into default screen. So you can see down on the bottom left corner there, it's in Chinese. So let's just start by just removing the USB drive. We don't need that anymore. And then you're going to press the right wheel on the steering wheel to the right. And that brings you into the settings. And then you're just gonna scroll down till you get to the second setting on the right column. And then you're just gonna press once over, that brings it to English. And then for me, I'm Pacific Coast. So I'll just change that. Um, the UI, I prefer UI one, so I'll just leave that. You scroll down till you get to the arrow and then just press to the right. And then all your settings are now back to the way they, they should be. And this should resolve the auto headlight display on the ultra mini display uh, by Hanshaw. After watching this video, you may be interested in seeing the install that I did for the Hanshaw ultra mini display. Uh, it's up here. So go check it out. Right now Hanshaw is having a Black Friday deal. It's 30% off all products. Uh, you can use my discount code Beastly Tesla Guy. I've got it linked down in the description.